It requires roughly 8 pounds of force to remove a human ear. What are some not fun facts? For generations, the indigenous peoples of South America used blow darts laced with paralytic plant extract to hunt their prey. In the 1800s, English physicians who interacted with these indigenous South Americans recognized the possible uses of this paralytic agent, now known as tubercurarine, as an anesthetic agent for surgeries. Physicians noticed that animals under the influence of tubercurarine would become temporarily immobilized, but would recover after a period of paralysis. According to these physicians, this discovery would revolutionize surgery as an anesthetic agent. So confident were they in their discovery that one of the physicians volunteered to undergo surgery under the influence of tubercurarine to demonstrate its effectiveness. Unfortunately, he failed to realize that, although the drug was an effective paralyzing agent, it did not have any effect on the sensory receptors of the body, so he felt every cut of the surgery without being able to move or do anything about it. When another elephant dies, its pack make a little funeral for it. They pick rocks and put it around the body and stand there for a while before they keep the way. The smell of vomit comes from butyric acid, as does the smell of parmesan cheese. When given a sample of butyric acid to smell, test subjects were disgusted or pleased depending on whether they were told it was puke or palm. If you are enjoying this video, Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button to support this channel. It requires roughly 8 pounds of force to remove a human ear. Horses can't throw up. If they need to throw up, they'll die. Armadillos can carry leprosy and can pass to humans just by being in proximity. Most humans are immune to leprosy and very little armadillos carry it. Still. You don't want to go around touching armadillos. If you shine a flashlight slash smartphone on a newborn sea turtle for too long which could be only minutes, it will start crawling around in circles. Known as the ring of death, it means that the turtle's eyesight has been permanently damaged due to mistaking your lights for the moon that guides it to the sea. By doing this, you have doomed the sea turtle to death right after birth. Crabs eat their babies and sloths can die from starvation with a full stomach. Heroin overdose is so prevalent and dangerous because of how fast tolerance bounces back. So let's say an addict gets arrested and is in jail for a few days, weeks, whatever. If they're a heavy user even half the dose they last used could kill them. I actually heard an interesting thing about heroin overdose during a lecture. Taking heroin in a different place or different kind of place can actually lead to overdoses. Basically it's like Pavlov's dog, when you have the same ritual including place your body actually prepares itself I assume heart rate change, etc and has situation specific tolerance. You have it somewhere without the ritual and your body doesn't do that preparation, meaning you have less tolerance to the drug, even if it's the same dose as normal. Fascinating concept. Edit. Thank you for the silver kind redditor. Forensic investigators love people with tattoos. It makes their job so much easier. When it comes to heart disease, the very first symptom in roughly one third of all cases is sudden death. Meaning you could be perfectly healthy and drop dead because you had heart disease and didn't know it. Check your family history people. Everyone probably knows this one, but the original voice actor for Ducky in the Land Before Time series was murdered by her father and then he torched the body. I believe her tombstone has Ducky on it as well as one of her lines from the movie. It's been a while since I read about it. Criminals that are considered unattractive usually receive a 50% longer jail time than attractive criminals. Brain aneurysms can happen at any time in your life and you won't know until it's too late or if a doctor accidentally finds it. Some whales, when old, no longer have enough strength to swim for as long. So if they swim too deep, they might not have enough strength to swim back up to get air, so they end up drowning. Edit. 
Some people smarter than I have pointed out that they technically don't drown, but instead suffocate from the lack of air. This is apparently because whales have to manually breathe instead of it being done automatically. <coughs> Babies can die after consuming honey. The botulinum toxin like the one in botox will paralyze their muscles causing floppy baby syndrome. Edit. To clarify the bacterial spores basically a super resistant sleepy form of the microbar in the honey, not the actual toxin. After going into the human they start the party and produce the toxin. Cowgirl slash reverse cowgirl position is the most common reason for a man's penis to break. Some dogs have to get their anal glands squeezed by veterinarians or their owners if too much fluid gets stuck in them. Dogs usually help themselves with the issue though, by pooing or rubbing their butts on the floor. An estimated 60% of heart attacks are painless. There's a plant in Australia called the Jimpy Jimpy tree that has hairs all over it that are small enough and are compared to hypodermic needles. And whenever a person touches the plant these hairs stick into your skin and inject a toxin. That causes a pain compared to the affected area being covered in acid and set on fire. And what makes it worse is that the pain lasts months to years. Japanese used to use prisoners to test how many bodies their sword was they would stack prisoners on top of each other and however many the sword went through was how many bodies the sword was. Gorillas will usually masturbate after battling with others. You can die from Alzheimer's due to the brain forgetting how to swallow or breathe. You normally die from pneumonia. This sounds awful, but pneumonia is almost a backquote blessing when one is very old or very ill as you do kind of backquote drift off, and medicines help make you as comfortable as possible. The poor swallowing leads to aspiration pneumonia, and the loss of proper cough reflex combined with being underweight and lacking immunity. To be honest to those of us which beat heart disease and cancer and live to a very old age, it's likely pneumonia will be what gets us. Either a fall and broken hip which lands us in hospital where we never leave or simply a very bad flu which spreads. There are worse ways to go. Only one eighth people who reach 80 will back quote die at home unexpectedly in their sleep. Most of us will have comorbid conditions or a precipitating event like a fall. The sun occasionally lets out supermassive bursts of plasma energy called coronal mass ejections. These could knock out our satellites power grid and internet for decades. One barely missed us in 2012, and another has about a 10% chance of happening in the next 10 years. You may have heard on several occasions that coal fire plants release more radiation than a nuclear plant, and it's true, but the reason why is a bit disturbing. Nuclear power plants are closed systems. So whatever radiation that comes from it has to punch its way through several tons of steel and concrete. Coal fire plants are not closed systems. They dig stuff out of the ground and burn it, releasing all waste to the air. Coal goes through very minimal processing before it's burned compared to other sources of fuel. After it is dug the coal is washed, and mostly that gets rid of impurities such as sulfur and rocks of various minerals. However, there always remains a trace of impurities. And those impurities can be made up of naturally occurring radioactive element, such as radium. The presence of radium in coal is usually in very small trace amounts. But when a coal fire plant burns 9000 tons of coal every day, it adds up. Which means it releases more radiation than a nuclear power plant. And it's more dangerous because that radiation is coming from particles that are just out there, floating around in the air, which you can inhale BTW. The average person walks past 11 murderers in their life. You are roughly 30 times more likely to die in a motorcycle accident than car accident. This factors in the odds of being in an accident per mile, and the odds of the accident being a fatality. Dolphins will use decapitated fish heads to masturbate. If you think I'm joking look it up. The Spanish flu is one of the most lethal pandemics in history, edited out the most. There are lots of element that determine the deadliness of these various diseases and too much uncertainty and death tolls 
to say for sure which disease was the most lethal. People who caught it bled from their ears, experienced nausea and extreme fever, their skin turned shades of blue, and experienced extreme pain from the slightest touch. It caused internal hemorrhaging. 18 to 35 adults immune systems which would typically be considered the strongest would react so strongly that their bodies would fill up with antibodies and fluid, literally drowning the infected with their own defense mechanism this happened for a specific reason. See Peekman's comment. Edit. If you are looking for a good source. The Great Influenza by John M. Berry is a good one. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has been inbred to the point where about 70% show signs of syringomyelia, a condition when its skull is too small for its brain. As its brain grows, the pressure on it causes extreme distress and pain, and they flop around looking like they have a seizure until the vet drills a hole in its skull to release the pressure. Oh and bulldogs can only give birth via c-section cause their heads are too big for their mom's hips, and pugs are struggling to breathe their whole lives. Shamless plug to go to a shelter, and not a small dog breeder. But definitely also non-fun facts. Almost every human on earth is host to some type of parasite, even in first world countries. A dentist in China was once executed for comparing mangoes to a sweet potato. There is such a thing as masturbating too much. Many reported cases of patients coming in with gangrene on their dungs and testes because they jerked it so much they made abrasions and skin tears on their manhoods. Their entire pride would turn dark purple and black. Some have even died of sepsis because of this. So TLDR to my hormonal friends. Don't wank yourself to death. There's a deep sea fish forgot the actual name. But the male fuses into the female till there is basically nothing left of him. All for the sake of reproduction. <coughs> dolphins have been known to violently rape female dolphins in groups. <coughs> the Japanese giant hornet's venom is so powerful that it can actually dissolve human flesh. Genetic diversity of lions and cheetahs is so poor that a single epidemic can kill them all in a few months. Sperm attracts ants because it contains fructose. I learned it the hard way this morning. If you have two pregnant cows give birth at the same time and one cow's calf dies and the other mother cow dies leaving her calf orphaned, you can skin the dead calf and drape the skin over the living calf. Then the living mother will believe the orphaned calf is hers by smell and pattern of the skin and feed the calf keeping it alive. Edit. I just woke up for milking, and to my surprise this post got a fair bit of attention haha. I should note people nowadays would only do this if they had only the two cows and no neighbors to get milk off to hand raise the calf. Working on a dairy where we have many cows calving at the same time we can just leave them with a group of mothers and someone will feed it. Usually we will milk the mother cow and hand feed the calves in a shelter as we're not a huge dairy. Second edit. A calf needs the first milk from a mother cow that's just calved. This milk is called colostrum. It contains all the antibodies that fight infections and bacteria and help boost the calf's immune system. You must get this into the calf within 6, 12 hours of the calf's birth to help it survive and be healthy. If you only own the two cows and you have this exact scenario, where one mother died, and the other mother's calf dies, and she refuses to take on the orphan calf and you have no neighbors with colostrum to bottle feed it then this would be one way for you to keep this calf alive. Again for the people who are saying other mothers take on the calves. This is true, but in the scenario I'm suggesting the farmer only owns the two cows. When one dies you're only left with the one cow, no other mothers to take on the calf.